Hey, welcome back to D-Lab everyone. This is a follow-up video to the cobbled Fender Deluxe Reverb that I fixed for the Gap North a few weeks ago. He came today and actually picked up the unit. I did have some footage of the finished product but I never got it in the cabinet until now. So the owner came, picked it up, played it, he loved it. So what I'm going to do is show you some footage of what it used to be and what it is now. The project turned out great. The owner is very happy. Another success story from D-Lab Electronics. There. Well, this old Fender amp came to my hands. Dog can't fix it. Really had no plans. Took much parts. Flux poor like honey. Never worked right, but it still Maybe got so. his money. Yeah. So they're going to the output tubes. So it inherited these blue ugly caps and these brown nasties. Okay. You can see that there are some updated caps. I believe that's a Jupiter cap. And some of the resistors have been changed out. These are the newer style. But there's just a mix match of parts. Nothing made sense. Nothing was uniform. And the other sad thing is, is when all this work was going on, there was just flux spread all over the board. So it is now contaminated. There's spots of mold, and of course, it's warped, but that has nothing to do with the repair, all right? So we'll work our way over here a little bit more. And you can see there was a little bit of work in the tremolo circuit. Some caps have been changed there. We've got some electrolytics in here. These appear to be a decent brand, but once again, kind of a mix match so there's a sprague there he was tagged in it appears as though the LDR module has been changed there's some uh, silicone holding wiring down possibly when they're chasing noise we'll go over here to the output section area you can see there are the last remaining molded type blue caps that everybody loves and those couple of C2 resistors these are 1K 2 watt resistors that are crossed pins 4 and 6. So this is the screen circuit. Normally Fender would use 470 ohm resistors. I don't know why those were bumped up to 1K. It may not make a difference, but part of my job will be returning this amp to stock. The other thing we're There's the new eyelet board installed. There's the old nasty warped one. New one sure looks a lot better, doesn't it? So I'll give you a quick scan before I put this back in the cabinet and we do the initial testing. I maintained all the original control wiring, but I changed the wiring going to the tube sockets with the Teflon jacket type to color code and make it look neater. Changed out the screen resistors to the 470 ohm, added the one ohm current sensing resistors to pin 8 of the output tubes, added the terminal board and swung the filament wiring to that point and distributed high current this way in the lamp over here. It turned out great, thing looks beautiful and I'm sure it's going to sound like a million bucks. <laughs> Fender Deluxe. This is the one that had the mangled up board, had the uh, appearance of the King Cobbler on there. <laughs> yeah, um, I but I, I totally rebuilt it and I think he likes it. We mm -hmm. actually yeah. also had to put in a new reverb tank because the other one was squealing a little bit. Do uh, you want to hear your tremolo? Yeah, I don't, I've never used it too much. But ah, well, it used to have a beautiful tremolo at one time. But. Yeah, what's there? 
Traveled the world pretty much, right? Oh, it's been yeah. in California a couple times. A couple times, down Tennessee. And, yeah. <laughs> well, you got me now, man. Oh, appreciate sure. it, Terry. Sure.